How's it going everybody? Welcome to the channel, Tech with KG. Today we're going to talk about Dolby Vision and gaming and my results of testing it and I want to specify a few things offhand. Now these TVs right away you're going to notice that they don't have a game mode for Dolby Vision. The only one that has a Dolby Vision game mode to my knowledge that is working correctly is LG. The first thing you will notice right away when you are testing on one of these TVs that isn't an LG OLED, you're going to see that, well, there's a problem because the input lag is unplayable. In my opinion, it is so unplayable. The input lag is way too high to be playing these games in Dolby Vision. Now I want to show you guys a comparison of Dolby Vision on and Dolby Vision off which is just going to be HDR10. These games are specifically designed um, to include Dolby Vision. I don't know if that means they were mastered in Dolby Vision. Probably not. But these are really highlighted to be included in Dolby Vision. These two games that I tested was Gears of War 5 and Wreckfest. Now Wreckfest is a driving game where you kind of crash into each other. It's actually kind of fun. I had a fun time testing it. So you'll see a few clips from that. You'll also see some clips from Gears of War 5. And I tried to simulate a side by side as best as I could. But since I am having to play them separately and then put the footage together, the footage will not match up the same. Though they will try to match up the same time of day and everything else to go off of that. So yeah. So I did test out other games and yes, all I noticed was that it was pretty much the same thing as HDR10. Maybe a little bit less banding in the skies. So for most games, it's just going to be converting your HDR10 to Dolby Vision. Maybe that is going to confuse some people and think that they are playing Dolby Vision games, but they're not because most of these games aren't in Dolby Vision yet. And I just wanted to make sure you guys are clear on that, that just because you're in Dolby Vision game mode doesn't mean that you're necessarily playing a game that was designed for Dolby Vision. All Dolby Vision is doing right now with these HDR10 games is just converting the HDR10 to Dolby Vision. The only improvement you will see from that is maybe a little bit less banding in the skies. Really not worth it, so to speak, to play in Dolby Vision gaming for non-LG OLED owners. And even for LG OLED owners, I would go to say that maybe HGIG is a better bet. So I'm going to talk now about whether or not I think it is worth having Dolby Vision on your TV. Should you go out of your way to have Dolby Vision on your TV for gaming specifically? Now, if you don't have Dolby Vision gaming on your TV, as of right now, I think it does not matter. I think that Dolby Vision gaming is so much in its infancy. Apparently Halo Infinite is going to be mastered in Dolby Vision, so that might be the first test to see if Dolby Vision gaming is really worth it over HDR10. If it really does so much more than HDR10 for us in Dolby Vision, it remains to be seen. I want to note that, you know, HDR10 Plus is also working on games. There's going to be games coming soon in HDR10 Plus, and... With HDR10+, Plus, it doesn't cost the developer any extra money to develop these games in HDR10+. Plus. So they have to pay a licensing fee with Dolby Vision. So that's something to keep in mind. There is less of a holdback for that. And you'll see the AAA games, the bigger games, push Dolby Vision a little bit more. But you might see smaller studios start to try to work with HDR10+. Plus if it's worth if it's worth it for them to put into their games. Now there's no guarantee that's going to happen, um, but that is just something that is in development. So while the footage is playing, I have to say that I personally didn't see a huge difference from Dolby Vision to HDR for gaming. And, you know, I thought maybe there would be a slight difference for these games that were pushed in Dolby Vision which is Wreckfest and Gears 5, 
um, but that was not the case. So, yeah, I guess Dolby Vision right now is just not not ready for gaming yet. So it it's cool that it's here. It's cool that Xbox has it, and you're able to test it and you're able to use it. Um, but right now, it's not something to go out of your way for if you don't have it. And I talked about this before in another video, but if you look at Dolby support in games for the last couple of years when it comes to Atmos, uh, it's really been close to non-existent in a lot of games, and the games that do feature it don't even implement it correctly. Now, Dolby Vision is a little bit different. We might see more games than we did with the Atmos feature, but we'll see. Because right now, it's kind of a mystery on what's going to unfold. And all you're seeing with Dolby Vision is it converting HDR10 games. So until we see the games actually mastered in Dolby Vision, that's when we can really judge. In order for us to enjoy Dolby Vision going forward for gaming, if it does get better, we're going to need to get these TV manufacturers to give us game modes for Dolby Vision. Because like I said, right now, most of the TV manufacturers that aren't LG do not have a dedicated game mode for Dolby Vision. So we definitely need that if we're going to enjoy games in Dolby Vision. And whether or not we do, that's up to the developers, the game developers, to make Dolby Vision happen and come alive in their games. You know, I don't really have a lot of faith in this because historically, HDR in games has been kind of all over the place. I don't know how much thought process they put into HDR. A lot of times it ships broken or in a bad state. So I'm not really sure how much love they show to the HDR feature, which is weird because this is something that can really make games come alive and really make games just more enjoyable for people, for people viewing the games, uh, for people playing the games. So. Yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you want me to test anything out with the U8G, I will do that. But I've seen the same result so far, and it's really unplayable, to be honest with you. It's not fun to play in Dolby Vision because of the input lag. And I highly recommend you guys don't play in Dolby Vision. If you were wondering how I was able to play in Dolby Vision on the Xbox, I'm actually part of the Xbox Insiders membership. Big shout out to Jolster's video for showing us how to do this and get into the Xbox Insiders program. Also, a mock for all. His YouTube channel is one that teaches you how to do this as well. Big shout out to him. I love both of these channels. Also, shout out to Keep It Classy Tech. His video on Dolby Vision Gaming is also one that you guys should check out. Tell me in the comments if you guys tested uh, Dolby Vision and let me know if you've watched this video and you see any differences that I've missed. Because uh, personally, if there was any differences, it was very minimal. But I would love to be wrong and to maybe have missed something. So if you guys see something that you think is different, let me know in the comments and I'll check it out. If you guys want to support the channel, check out the links in the description for these TVs. And going forward... I'm going to host more live streams where we can talk and chat and you can ask me questions about things like this. So stay tuned for that. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I hope to see you guys in the next one.